Hi there, this is Chris, Chapman Cup Motor Legends. Today I want to talk to you about a new boot from the Italian brand Falco. It's a short motorcycle boot and it's called the Gordon 2. This boot, the Gordon 2, is a classic short work boot style motorcycle boot. Now, that's a pretty crowded category as almost every manufacturer has a boot that looks pretty similar to this. And we've looked at them all. I've got to say we're not impressed by most of them. Some just don't seem robust enough to us to be motorcycle boots. On some of those boots, we don't like the leather. On this kind of boot, you will almost always have some kind of patina, but we don't like it where the worn look is overdone and we think it just makes the boots look a little bit artificial. Of course, the benchmark in this category was always the TCX X-Blend. And at this kind of mid-market price point, it was, we reckon, the perfect boot. It was comfortable, it was protective, and it was reliable. And important, it just looked right. But the boot that TCX replaced it with was not a patch on the, on the original. And so ever since, we've been looking for the boots to replace it, the perfect replacement for the TCX X-Blend. Now, it's too early to say whether the Gordon 2 is the boot we're looking for, but we like the way it looks, we like the way it feels, and it seems to tick all of the boxes. The boot is made from quite a heavily oiled leather. That gives the boot a certain air of credibility. It's not overdone, the patina, the look is not overdone, but neither does the boot look virgin clean. The oiling of the leather does a couple of things. It softens the leather to make it extra comfortable, but it will also make the leather a little bit more waterproof because it stops the water passing through the leather. Although clearly the membrane that the boot comes with does most of the heavy lifting in this regard. The boot has a super hard counter, and I mean a really hard counter on the toe, and it's got another one in the heel. You've got D3O pucks in the ankle for protection in terms of a side impact, I suppose. Ingress and egress to the boot is via laces, but also via a zip that comes up the inside of the boot. The top three eyelets are speed hooks, and that's gonna make life a little bit easier. Clearly with a boot like this, you're never really gonna be able to get in and out of the boot purely on the zip, but having the zip means that you don't have to undo the laces anywhere near as far. Inside the boot, you've got what Falco call an ACF midsole, and basically that's a sole that's going to take the shape of your foot and your foot will mold into it. Again, comfort being the end result. The outer sole is Falco's take on what I suppose you would call a commando sole. It looks as though it's gonna be just as grippy as a commando sole, but in truth, it's not gonna be as tough or as hard wearing. At first sight, you might think this boot has what is known as a Goodyear welted sole, which is what all of the best boots have. And what might cause you to think that is that you've got this sewing through the welt here. But I've got to tell you that even though you've got that sewing through the welt, this isn't a Goodyear welted shoe. It is not quite the real deal. In terms of the boots, we would say that most Falcos, in our experience, seem to have been formed over quite a wide last. And what that means is if you have particularly narrow feet, this boot may not be for you. So who is the boot for? Who is it aimed at? Well, like the X-Blend, I think the Gordon 2s are going to appeal to riders of classic bikes, retro bikes, and custom bikes. But really, they're gonna work for any rider who is riding a bike in a pair of jeans or chinos. Technically, there's no reason that you couldn't wear a pair of boots like this with a technical waterproof pant, but any short boot like this is going to be less waterproof than a taller boot. And in truth, if you did want to wear a short boot with a technical trouser, there are probably more appropriate boots than these, and immediately my mind goes to perhaps the shorter Daytona boots. Overall, we think that the Gordon 2s have all the right ingredients. We like the way they look, they have all the right bits, they are certainly comfortable to walk around in, but I think ultimately we will have to wait until our customers have put some miles in on them to really come to a conclusion about the boots. Of course, they are no Rokers, but there is quite a gulf in the price between these and the Rokers. I think it comes down to the fact that you pays your money, you makes your choice. If you'd like to see more short boots, visit the website motorlegends.com. If you'd like to learn more about the Gordon 2s, then if you click on one of the links on the screen, sometimes they're up there, sometimes they're down there, that will take you to the correct page on the website. There you can check out the spec in a bit more detail, you can check out availability, and obviously if you want to buy a pair of the boots, you can do that there and then. Now when you buy from us, we try to make the process simple, straightforward, and risk-free as we possibly can. There's no delivery charge on any item of protective wear that you buy from us. Returns are totally free, and what's more, we give you a full 12 months in which to decide whether you do want to return something to us. 
we have the best price promise in the business. Now, John Lewis was rightly famed for its never knowingly undersold price promise, but we go one stage better. If you can find anybody selling anything that we sell at a price that is lower than ours, we will beat that competitor's price by a full 10%. Now there are a few terms and conditions associated with what we call our price beat. Nothing particularly onerous, but if you are going to price beat us, I suggest you go over to the website and check out what those terms and conditions are. If in the future you'd like to see bulletins from us about new products, then if you go to the website, at the top of every page there's a piece of script that says newsletter sign up, click on there, within seconds you'll be in business. If however you prefer to get your information video graphically, that is to say in this form, would be simply delighted if you want to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel and you can do that by clicking on the button below. Now finally, I'd like to make mention of our fabulous little shop here at Moto Legends. We're about a mile from the centre of Guildford, a mile from the railway station. And as I've suggested, it's a small shop, it's got a small footprint, but it's attached to our warehouse where we have more than four million pounds worth of motorcycle merchandise arranged over three floors. Technically, that makes this the second largest motorcycle apparel shop in the UK. But we think that we are far more than just about the amount of merchandise that we have here in the building. We are about service, we're about personal fitting. If you want to check us out, visit Trustpilot. We have the highest five-star ranking in the business. And when you come and see us, we'll serve you only the finest Italian Illy coffee, or we'll serve you proper Yorkshire tea in a proper teapot. And who knows, if you're lucky, you might even get to sample one of our delicious motorcycle-shaped shortbread biscuits. Anyway, this has been Chris. I hope to talk to you again soon.